All right, we are live. Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Angela from MedFit Medical Weight Loss here in Denver, Colorado. Um, gosh, we actually are very lucky to have another gorgeous day today. Um, you know, we're gonna be hitting the 70s, but we're actually going to have another cold front. Um, I think it's gonna be in the 50s tomorrow. So, you know, that's what Denver's all about. I think we're the only state where you can golf and ski in the same day, which is actually pretty awesome. So I'm excited to have a very nice, you know, weather and then tomorrow, you know, coats and jackets and, you know, winter is coming. So, but, uh, but yeah, so you're catching my third Facebook live video. Uh, thanks for joining me today. Um, uh, last week, in case you didn't catch it, uh, I talked about how sugar is like your ex. We talked about addiction, why food and sugar specifically works on the same pathways as the neural pathways for drugs and alcohol. It can be a really critical medical condition. And I talked a few tips on how to um, get over that and really just understand the physiology. So the bottom line is, is that you and your body are actually kind of separate and you are really the translator of your body's signals. But guess what? You actually suck at it. You know, your body's trying to tell you one thing and you think, oh, well, you know, maybe sugar is what I need. Well, no, the reality is the same sort of what I talked about. Sugar is not what you need. You know, you need something else. And my job is to help you really interpret your body signals and be a better translator. And that's actually the topic uh, for today. So, all right. So I'm going to give you just a few more minutes to hang in. Um, there's a few people that have already joined. Um, make sure you uh, like, like across... Uh, let me know that you're here and feel free to post any comments or questions um, I'm going to have a little bit of a topic that I'm going to talk about today um, and I'll try my best to catch the questions in between in case I don't um, get to it feel free to email me at dr. Tran that's d-r-t-r-a-n at Denver weight loss clinic Dot com. Otherwise, catch me in the show next Tuesday. I'm going to be uh, pretty consistent Tuesday morning. So, um, so make sure you post your comments and questions. I'm here to help. So, um, so all right. So we got some hearts. We got some, you know, thumbs up. So all right. So let's begin. So today's topic: You are a hormone hot mess. Yep, that's right. So, so okay, so how I want to start, start the, the topic is, is that I don't know if you guys have ever watched The Voice. I was watching it last night. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you watch The Voice. Um, it's actually one of my favorite shows. And uh, for those of you who don't know The Voice, you know, please tune in. You're missing out. So turn on your TV. There's something better than just watching, um, you know, the news. So, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so you know the premise. So there are these four uh, musical judges. So you've got Adam Levine from Maroon 5. You've got Blake Shelton, um, who's a country singer, uh, Miley Cyrus, uh, pop artist, and Alicia Keys, you know, fabulous singer. And they are actually turned around. So they can't see the singer, what they look like, you know, their physical appearance. All they can hear is the voice, okay? And so, but you know, like, you know, Adam Levine represents like rock, Blake Shoot, Shelton, you know, as a country singer, etc. You know, so they're gonna tune in into the voice that really resonates with them. And then once they tune in, they say, you know, I can coach you to be really the best, you know, singer. But on the flip side, you know, you're not gonna have Blake Shelton hit a button on like a rap song. So he's, I mean, so there, you're not gonna push a button on a rap song because he is a country singer. So he has to kind of weed out on some of the singers that he can help. And now he can help a pop artist and he can help some other voices, but he really tunes in on the country singer because that's his expertise. And so he will say, yep, that's you. You know, I can help you, okay? So guess what? Your hormones are all singers. And again, it's a hot mess. You know, they're loud and clear, but 
you actually keep hitting the button on every single voice and then you don't even know what to listen to. So I am here to help you distinguish those hormones, okay? So, all right, so are you ready to begin? Make sure you get your hearts out because I want you guys to hit your hearts button if that's your voice that's telling you and I'm gonna teach you how to coach that voice so that you control it and how it controls your weight, okay? So are you ready? All right, so we're going to bring on singer number one. Okay, here's your tune, all right? So this person is singing, well, I am on an energy overload. I wake up at five o'clock in the morning and I am literally awake until midnight. And I fairly easily fall asleep because I'm working pretty hard and so I crash. But guess what? I wake up at two o'clock every single morning and then it takes me at least another hour to fall asleep and then five o'clock rolls around and I do it all over again. I'm usually a realtor because I'm in and out of the car, I'm doing listings, I'm doing open houses, showings. Um, I could also be a lawyer because I work long hours and I also have to socialize and network at nighttime. I'm also a CEO, you know, because I gotta make big money decisions or I own a business. So you're kind of understanding that I have, you know, long hours where I'm awake, okay? Now I'm actually moody, but I'm not depressed. I'm angry. I'm the one that's honking at you. Get out of my way because I need to get somewhere really fast. Okay? I can't concentrate. I can't decompress. And guess what? I actually do eat fairly healthy when I have time, which is really never. And then I exercise. And I actually exercise a lot. I'm doing kickboxing. I'm doing CrossFit. You know, I'm training for a half marathon. And I'm doing a thousand crunches. But guess what? The more crunch that I do, the more belly fat seems to accumulate around your belly. All right, so, okay, so that's the song. So for all of you out there who, if this is your song, give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up, okay? So here we go. Is this your song? And I'm gonna give you, all right. <laughs> here is the voice, cortisol. All right, so this is the one of the most common hormones that you are over exhausting. So, so cortisol, just to let you know, it is your adrenaline system. It really gets produced when you are in the fight or flight mode, when you need to attack, when you need to make decisions, when you need to do something now. And it is an energy piece, okay? But the problem is, is, is that you've been stressed to the max and now you're actually on your backup system but you are literally needing energy you are that person who needs their coffee in the day you need that quick fix maybe that piece of chocolate just to kind of get through the next meeting you are literally on a sugar high or a carb high again just to get that energy so so that is your problem you're actually choosing the wrong foods just to get your energy so i want to help you understand that voice that you're hearing it's not because you're craving carbs and you're addicted it's you are addicted to energy and you're actually not eating the right foods for your fuel okay so all right so you just picked up cortisol as the singer that you are going to coach okay so you need to fix your energy level so stop the sugar high okay I know that's easier said than done but you need to go to endurance you need to go to foods that will help you last longer those are your 14 16 hour days okay so how do you do that you need to convert yourself to healthy fats okay so get your pen and paper out start listing out your healthy fats so avocados one of my absolute favorites hummus uh, olive oil, I cook with olive oil like all the time. Um, almonds and walnuts, um, uh, fish and shrimp, believe it or not, are also really good healthy fats. So you really need to kind of deter your way from the sugars and then bad news, caffeine is also gonna pump your cortisol system. So remember, cortisol does exactly the opposite 
of what you want. It actually makes you gain fat and lose muscle. And it is one of the most evil hormones of all. So again, but you gotta listen to the right tune. And guess what, if you coach it, then it will actually work for you, not against you, okay? All right, so that was singer number one, okay? You guys ready for singer number two? Let me get, get this ready here, all right? So here we go. So this is singer number two. Okay, here's the two. I'm tired, like all the time, but I don't even know why. Um, I'm depressed or I'm even anxious, but you know what? Everybody knows me as I'm a happy person, but I don't know why I'm just, I feel like I have the blues all the time. So um, my hair is falling out. Jeez, in the shower, I'm just getting like, you know, crumples of hair. My nails are really brittle. My skin is dry. I mean, I've spent like, I don't know, the, that we're doing a little, okay, here we back. Okay, so you're cold all the time. Um, you have irregular periods. Um, that's for all your women out there. <laughs> you can't concentrate. And then number one symptom, you actually keep gaining weight no matter what. You actually are eating healthy and you are exercising, but you keep gaining weight. All right, so which hormone is this? Is this your hormone? Give me some hearts here. Give me, this, uh, give me some thumbs here. All right, here we go. So this is your thyroid. All right, so your next hormone is your thyroid. Okay, so this, for those of you, this is actually pretty something that you are familiar with that uh, affects your metabolism, okay? Your thyroid is a gland that sits in your neck right here. Um, your primary care doctor usually is able to do a physical exam to make sure that there are no nodules. Um, but guess what? It's more important to check blood tests because you need to know your function, okay? Your thyroid is your regulator of your metabolism, so that means that if it is off, then everything is off, okay? So you need to figure that out. So some of the things that you can do to coach your thyroid to make sure it is singing the right tune is, so we need to um, incorporate foods with iodine. So um, uh, fish, uh, Brazil nuts, believe it or not, are have been known to be uh, very um, helpful to thyroid production. Uh, leafy greens and kale. These are some of the food categories that will support your thyroid, okay? Now guess what, your thyroid is tricky, okay? You can listen to this tune, but you need to get blood tests. Now I'm just gonna let you know, your primary care doctor usually just checks one test, and that is called your TSH, or your thyroid stimulating hormone. But guess what, that's actually just one indirect measure of your hormone okay so here's a little bit of a secret your doctor's not even checking a direct function of your thyroid is actually indirect okay now I'm not telling that your primary care physician is wrong I have a, an extensive thyroid panel that I check you can also get it at a thyroid specialist office that gets a little bit more detail so if you just feel like gosh you know that just that one test um, although it said it was normal, I just still have these symptoms, call me, okay? Because there's more to the story than just this one test. So, so you really wanna make sure that you coach your thyroid because again, you potentially are doing the right things on the outside. You are eating right, you are exercising, but if you don't fix your thyroid, guess what? You're going to be stuck. Again, hormone hot mess, okay? All right, so, all right, so that's singer number two, okay? So we are on to singer number three. Okay, this one is a fun one, all right? Okay, so here we go. So this singer, um, you know, it's a little quirky, you know, has like a, you know, hat on, cute dress, and but she's bloated, you know, I'm bloated. I retain water easily. I mean, my ankles are swollen, my puffies. I, I just decided I'm not gonna wear rings anymore because it's just not worth it. Um, I actually have heavy menstrual periods. I am a PMS mess. So everybody knows to stay away from me that week of the month. It's terrible. Sorry, I can't control it. It's my period. 
Um, I'm moody, but unlike cortisol, I'm actually more sad and depressed. Yeah, I'm the one that's crying at the commercials. I don't even know why. Leave me alone. Give me some tissue. Um, I actually have a lot of headaches and, you know, my OBGYN knows me by my first name. It's kind of embarrassing. I see her a little bit more than I want to. And then I have a pear-shaped body where I'm a little bit heavier set in my buttocks, my hips and thighs. I mean, no matter what I do, they just are big. Jeans are really terrible when it comes to shopping. Um, I also have an apple-shaped body too. I can have that too. So, um, but that's, that's my tune. All right, okay, so give me some hearts here. Give me some thumbs. Is this you? Are you bloated? Do you retain water? Here we go. Okay, here we go. Estrogen. All right. This is a, a hormone that we all talk about, but we still don't really understand because we just say, okay, you know, all of you premenopausal women, all of you postmenopausal women, this is your singer. Okay? And the problem is, is, is that you are either producing too much estrogen inherently from you know genetics um, or you're getting estrogen from your environment so there's a lot of toxins out there there's pesticides there's growth hormones you know we're actually sort of kind of causing this problem to ourselves now i mentioned that you can be in a pear-shaped or an apple-shaped body let me talk to you a little bit about the differences okay now the pear-shaped you know believe it or not that's actually the healthier version of the body shape okay you have excess fat however it is more under the skin it is wrapped around the hips the thighs and the buttocks the problem is is, is that it's not physically appealing I know all of you women out there who just just would kill someone to get their thighs you know their hips so that you just have a normal shaped body okay but you really produce way too much estrogen and that's why you're having a lot of disorders down there from just too many periods just you know you're just moody and again this is controlling um because just controlling your day okay the apple shaped body these people are different they actually carry their fat in their belly areas okay so as you can think this is just an apple it's just round all around men tend to be in this category okay so now there's some good news and there's some bad news okay the good news is is that the fat in your apple shaped body is actually on a deeper layer it's actually hugged around your intestines your guts and things like that so it's not quite closer to the skin it's actually deeper and what that means is, is that it's actually easier to burn off these fat cells are uh, have more higher metabolic activity so that means it's just easier to burn off one of the reasons why men tend to lose weight um, faster okay but here is the really really bad side of being an apple shape it actually puts you at a higher risk for diabetes high blood pressure heart disease you know type of thing so it can be actually a very serious issue so again if you have an apple shaped body the reality is is that you don't need any blood tests you just know that you're a higher risk you need to take that um, take that uh, right away go to your doctor okay now again in my office I do a whole panel of tests so that we can gauge your risks and these are the people who are going to have like you know blood pressure issues blood sugar issues so um, so okay so you have been dying to uh, learn how do you coach estrogen to work for you okay here write this down okay fiber you need to eat at least 35 grams of fiber fiber helps you eliminate excess estrogen okay now here's a bonus if you want the bonus add fiber plus a probiotic again you can get this at the grocery store these are things that are going to help again help you move the oops help you uh, sorry about that help you get through that estrogen and eliminate it okay so that's gonna be a big deal and believe it or not you can help um, you can essentially sort of uh, you know almost through diet help you change your body shape 
by getting the extra estrogen out, okay? And believe me, you're gonna feel so much better. Again, your peers are gonna be better. You're just gonna feel like you're in control of your hormones, uh, but this is something to think about. And especially for your um, the women out there who have um, menopause, you tend to be apple-shaped, okay? You may have started out as a pear-shaped, but now you are apple-shaped. Um, again, you need to eat uh, you know, lots of fiber and we need to see a specialist to help you get rid of that excess fat. Okay, all right, so we got one more singer, okay? So this is, this one is my favorite, okay? This is the one that I feel is contributing the most to the weight problem that we're having here in this country, okay? So here we go. All right, last singer. So I crave sweets. Like, it's really, really bad. I mean, this is actually gonna be a horrible month for me because there's candy everywhere, and if it's in my sight, I'm going to grab it, okay? Now, I have a binge tendency on carbs. I don't care if it's fries, ice cream, cookies, you know, anything in that category, get it out of my sight, otherwise I'm gonna binge like crazy, okay? I'm hungry all the time. Now, it's, crazy like I'll eat something and then I kind of have to almost sort of like just make that hunger go away or just ignore it but then 30 minutes I'm hungry again and then I'm just like I can't concentrate it's calling my name I'm finding things in my desk it's horrible okay now my family tends to follow the similar pattern my family has health issues all across the board now my blood tests aren't very good Every time I go into the doctor, you know, you've got, you know, this off, you know, this number is off, this number is off, and he just says the same, same old thing, you need to lose weight. Another symptom that I have is I have joint pain and arthritis. I have stiffness in my body, and, you know, I know that I am overweight, and it can really hurt my knees, but I just hurt everywhere. It doesn't matter and then I just have a hard time exercising, you know, everything's just stiff, and I just can't ha help but just feel pain, like, all the time. All right, so, okay, so give me some hearts. Is this your tune, okay? So here we go. Insulin. All right, so here we go. If you wanna talk about hormones, if you wanna kinda of figure out, gosh, I don't really know which hormone is making me you know, overweight, this is it, okay? So you're thinking, well, I don't have diabetes, I don't think insulin is my problem. Well, here, guess what? Insulin is a problem because there's sugar everywhere, okay? You go to the grocery store, you go to fast food, you go out to eat, you go to the, the stand down the street, you go to the food truck, it's everywhere, and you're pumping insulin like crazy. And eventually, your insulin's not going to work. In fact, it's actually gonna work against you. So all that sugar that it's supposed to send to your muscles and to your cells, it's going to get tired. And what does it do instead? It converts that sugar into fat. So, and it actually is really good at it. Okay, so this is going to be a serious problem. This is for you. You know, whether you have diabetes or pre-diabetes, again, we check lab tests uh, really comprehensively to take a look at that. If you have a family history, you're going to deal with this problem. Okay, so, all right, so how do you coach insulin? Okay, you are really going to, again, if you master any singer this one in my opinion is going to win the voice okay so you need to as you guessed follow a low carb diet okay so now you know that it sounds well gosh I mean it's gonna be hard to cut out sugar and you know I mean I just I don't know where to start okay this is where you start okay um, it really just means uh, having a special number to eat, to allow your body to process, but we're going to help you uh, eat uh, other foods from proteins and fats, okay? Now, I really spend a lot of time uh, throughout my program. Again, I have uh, a full-on comprehensive diet, fitness, and sessions with me. You and me, we're gonna be talking about this, you know, for quite a long time so you can master this hormone, okay? I know it's not easy. Um, guess what? You're not meant to 
lose weight on your own, it is pretty difficult. And that's why I decided to get extra training in this because it's important. You know, it is not a calories in, calories out simplicity of an equation. It's more complex than that. So if you learn anything from me, you are a hormone hot mess. You need to tune in into the right hormone, but then you can coach it and they can actually sing the right tune for you. That's really the bottom line. So um, so that's my talk today. Again, thank you so much for listening. Um, I was pretty pumped up about this talk because I know that all of you, you know, are um, really struggling out there. And this is the kind of content that you're gonna get from me um, so that you can really be armed and dangerous on how to lose weight. Again, it is not um, very simple to just like try try counting points or calories, you know, weighing food. Again, you have to take it on a medical level. This is where I come in and this is where um, I'm here to help. So, all right, so if you love this talk, uh, hey, thanks so much for joining me. Again, I'll be here again next Tuesday. Um, make sure you to post your questions and your comments. Um, and again, feel free to email me at Dr. Tran, uh, D-R-T-R-A-N at denverweightlossclinic.com. Or I have a new ebook on how to get over obesity. That's a really informative book. I would encourage you to download it. And it's got a lot of tips in there to help you get started because I don't want you to be circling. I don't want you to just keep yo-yo. You know, what I talked about roller derby dieting, you know, stop, you know, trying to just, you know, go into a dark room without a flashlight. I'm your flashlight. I'm here to help. All right. So, okay. Thanks for joining me. Give me lots of hearts. Let me give me lots of likes. Um, and I'll catch you next time. And then again, don't forget to post your comments and questions. I will be happy to answer them and get you on the right track. Okay. Have a great week.